What is up, YouTube? I'm LDAP Troyero, and welcome back to another episode of Thrifting Throwdown, the show where I hit the road trying to scour thrift shops, yard sales, flea markets, you name it. As always, my goal on this journey is to add more video games to my collection. And speaking of my collection, here's where things stand after my last Thrifting Throwdown. As you can see, Kara and I are out here enjoying a nice morning, getting ready for some thrifting today. I've got a few spots picked out, but that's all for now. There's video games out there to find, so let's hit the road and do some thrifting. Hey, good morning. Exactly. And at my age, I don't argue no more. <laughs> How you doing? Pretty good. How are you doing? Not bad. Not bad, really, to tell you the truth. Good, good. Oh, let me look at the truck. These are records. Okay. Um, I got them there, but I put them on that because you know why. Then I can go back in the shade. Oh, okay. Then I don't have to worry about the records. Sounds good. So I cut the camera there. I actually had a little chat with the guy, asked if he had any video games. He said his son might, so I'm going to try to swing by later. But he was telling me about this trunk, and I thought it was a neat story, so I wanted to share it. He said this is the trunk that the soldiers used in World War II. They had to take it over with them, and it had all their supplies and sleeping bags and stuff in it. And he was explaining to me that originally the trunk was green, but this guy had painted it red, white, and blue. So pretty interesting. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I thought that was a neat little fun fact I wanted to share, but hey, no video games. So let's get back on the road and see what we can find. <laughs> too much, too much work. Well, and then they said we're supposed to have another week later. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you.
tapes are good. Yeah, those are not hard. This is just plugging in here. All right, so I just walked out. I grabbed these two games. Nothing special, just sports titles. I paid $1.50 each, but they're in pretty good condition. Like, the cases are in good condition. So even if I don't keep the games, I just picked up some cases for real cheap. So let's see what else we can find. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
um, we left early, we left at 4 o'clock, and we still there quick. Space you could have yeah. like a family down here, you know, it's that big, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I went down Oh, here. really? Yeah, you were there for a while, and now, like I said, I'm working in the one bedroom, and I'll get the other two Are they all individually priced? Okay. Yeah, they're all individually priced. I look most of them up, and then yeah. I put them like half of what they, they tell you to put them at. So. Fair enough. They're good price. Anybody that would 
fuck me up, so I just uh, left. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Good morning. Right. Tired of driving, we should pick up something. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at home base. Time to take a look at what we picked up today out on our thrifting throwdown journey. Up first, NHL 15. There we go. Felt like it was kind of incomplete, so I wanted to check on that one. NCAA Football 9 also feels kind of incomplete. What am I doing here? There's discs in both of these. I think I'm paranoid after that last episode. If you didn't watch, at least half of the discs were missing from the games last time. Be sure to check that out. I'm going to pop a quick link in the, uh, in the video here. MVP 06 for the first Xbox. There we go. Three different systems already. Oh, boy. It's about to be four. We got another Cabela's game. Dangerous Hunts 09. I'm pretty sure I have this one already. Actually, no, I lie. I think I have the other Cabela's game that I picked up. Well, you know what? I won't make you watch me pick that tag off. It's okay. We can skip that. We'll save that for later. Another Cabela's game. Hmm. I don't want to do this. I guess we'll just leave it like this for now. WWE 2012. Randy Orton. Be a shame if this game got RKO'd out of nowhere. I'll either add in some cool visual there or I won't. And, you know, we'll see how that goes. All right, this one feels very empty. Absolutely. Oh, actually, now I remember. I don't think I filmed this one, but I picked it up for free, basically, because I opened it up and said, hey, there's nothing in it. So now I've got a case I can use. Always a good idea to open the games before you buy them. I have a bad habit of not doing that. MLB 06, the show. ESPN NHL 2K5. My NHL game collection has been exploding lately. I picked up so many of these sports titles. I can't seem to escape the sports titles right now. And this one I thought was really interesting. I've never seen it before and it's sealed. The only issue, the seal is kind of broken down here. So I know that um, that's going to trigger some of you. But yeah, uh, what the heck is this game even? Who knows? Who can ever be sure? And now we're getting into the DS games I picked up today. I have no idea what this game could possibly be. Be the best babysitter on the block. Okay, so I guess it's literally just like imagine yourself taking care of kids. Oof. 
50 classic games. 50 classic games. Oh my god, it does. It has free sell. And last but not least, or in this case, possibly least, Jim Rockets. Why does this exist? But the game was sealed, so I bought it. What the heck is $24.99? I who paid $24.99 for this at one one time? Become a gold gymnast. I like how both of the screenshots are just like people doing handstands because that's what gymnasts are all about, handstands. So anyway, there's what I picked up today. So there's a better look at the total haul for today. I got some weird games today, but I'm actually cool with that. I kind of like picking up the weird games that I've never seen before. It's kind of fun and different, uh, a little bit better than seeing the same sports games all the time. I'll say that. So after all said and done, here's where my collection stands after this week's thrifting throwdown. I was able to pick up a few brand new titles, some of them sealed, and it really helped out my total collection. But that's just about it. I want to thank you for watching and joining me on this thrifting throwdown. I had a lot of fun riding along with you. I hope you'll check out my other videos. I hope you'll hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And honestly, if you haven't subscribed by now, I could really use your support. Hit that subscribe button. Help me get to 100 subscribers. If you're interested, you can also check me out on social media at LDabstroyero on pretty much all of the platforms. And hey, stick around, see what my best thrifts of the day were today. Thanks for watching and have a good one.